Hello everyone and welcome to today's session on what is WebGL by IntelliPad. In this session, we will cover all the topics related to WebGL and all its properties. So without further wait, let's start the session. But before we begin the session, make sure to subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so that you'll never miss any update from us. So let's go to our first topic, which is what is WebGL? WebGL is the Mozilla's foundation's product. According to their definition, WebGL is a cross-platform, royalty-free, open web standard for a low-level 3D graphics API based on OpenGL ES exposed to ECMA script via HTML5 canvas element. Let's break that down. So basically, WebGL is the new web standard for 3D graphics that was created to render both 2D and dynamic 3D graphics as well. Which means that WebGL is an API or an application programming interface that got created in order to be used in web application creations. Wherein, an API is something that the user sees and interacts with every time they use apps or websites like Facebook or even when they use or send an instant message on such platforms such as WhatsApp or even WeChat. In addition to drawing visuals in 2D and 3D games, WebGL is used to speed the functions of web-based image editors and their effects as well as physics simulations. WebGL is partly written in JavaScript even though it is functionally based on OpenGL ES or Open Graphics Language Embedded Standard. Users may use the API to engage with interactive content on web pages with GPU acceleration without having to download or install any plugins first. As we discussed earlier, even though Mozilla was the first to develop WebGL, the Kronos Group, a non-profit organization, is actively designing and maintaining the API currently. Let's see what our next topic is. Why is WebGL used? Given the abundance of graphical display technologies available such as CSS, Canvas, SVG, and plugin-based solutions like Silverflight and Flash, you may be wondering where WebGL fits in and whether you need to learn it. So, let's have a look at some of the reasons why you should. Performance WebGL is extremely fast and takes full advantage of hardware acceleration, making it ideal for games and sophisticated visuals. Although other methods may benefit from hardware acceleration, WebGL was designed with performance in mind and should outperform them in any circumstances. Tasks. It can perform and render functions that other technologies can't, or more precisely, can't do well. For example, creating intricate lighting and reflecting material effects with SVG can be a real head scratcher, whereas it could be easily pulled off using WebGL. And finally, shaders. To create complicated visual effects, WebGL apps can use small programs known as shaders. A basic shader may represent water or flames while a more complicated version could provide, for example, something like a sepia coloring effect and so on. Our next topic is domains where WebGL is used. Here are some of the most predominant domains that makes use of WebGL for their various functionalities. Data visualization. D3.js, InfoWiz, Springy.js, Ember Charts, High Charts, Raphael.js, and others are some of the various libraries available for creating online data visualizations. This list is lengthy and you would have undoubtedly heard of or used at least one of them if you have ever done data visualization. However, WebGL allows you to give your data greater dimension and significance. It enables you to exhibit and communicate data from various angles. In short, it just improves the experience for the user when it comes to data visualization. Gaming Platforms WebGL has been adopted by some of the major gaming and gaming platforms for the efficiency of graphics that it offers. The PS4 user interface, for example, is driven by WebGL, which allows its menus and components to function effectively with minimum delays. Basically, a WebGL code is what is being executed every time a user logs into the PS4. E-commerce In e-commerce, WebGL is utilized for detailed 3D models. 
especially when it comes to high quality goods. It provides consumers with a number of interactive customization features that allows them to adjust their product representation in real time. For potential customers, the strategy enhances consistency and tangibility. Architecture The field of architecture and 3D modeling are two things that go hand in hand. And hence, 3D viewing is becoming more widely available in the architecture industry, adding more web VR or web virtual reality integration to immerse customers in asset display has been made easier than ever before, thanks to tools like WebGL. And finally, the most important one, independent digital artists. This may be one of the most important applications of WebGL in general. The creativity of artists and illustrators across the globe, combined with the power and freedom that WebGL provides in model creation, has revolutionized the freelance digital art industry. Let's get into our next topic, major companies using WebGL. The following are some of the most successful companies that makes use of WebGL. Unity, Sony PlayStation, Play Canvas, Scale, Haptic Media, and so on. Let's get to our next topic, which is future of WebGL. As you can see, WebGL opens up a lot of doors for web developers, game designers, animators, and visual artists. When used in conjunction with new HTML5 features like web audio, web sockets, local storage, API, and others, you may construct powerful and professional web browser-based apps. The first commercial game built on cutting-edge technology is an excellent example. As a result, the debate arises as to whether the technology has a long-term future or if it will simply be utilized on a few sites as an enrichment. In the event of employing it to offer material in form of web pages, its feasibility should be evaluated. And after looking at all the topics and points we've covered so far, it's pretty safe to say that the future sure does look like WebGL's way. Now, let's see our final topic. Session Conclusion so far in this session, we have covered some of the most relevant topics regarding the in-demand technology called WebGL. In detail, we went through topics such as what is WebGL, and then we went on to see why we use WebGL. Then we saw the various domains that makes use of WebGL, and then the major WebGL using companies, and finally the future of WebGL. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and enable that bell icon so that you will get all the latest updates from IntelliPad regularly. Just a quick info guys. IntelliPad provides full stack web development course in collaboration with ENICT IIT Guwahati. The course link of which is given in the description below.